game number two of the best of three between 2634 and Groves. So let's get do it. Let's get on and let's introduce our teams here on 2634. It's going to be Lacuna playing the Medusa. Viper handled by Effie. Uh, Earthshaker this time around is going to be Ark. We have the smoke out here on to DT Toast. He's playing the tree and protector. And then finally, Sane, maybe insane, playing the Enigma. Meanwhile, on the dire side is going to be Remster playing the Ogre Magi. Silencer handled by Mossy. Sven stands ready. It's going to be Kong. Centaur Warrunner played by Hot Salsa. And then finally Waffles R Us on the IO. We'll see if this smoke the smoke does break, but Sane is going to be able to catch out Kong with the Malefice. And the root is there from Screen Protector. He should be able to get a really good body block here. And where is that first blood? He's not gonna get away. Well, Kuna is gonna pick that up. And that should be interesting. Um so teams are basically going to each get two bounty runes, just not the usual ones that you would expect, so. Viper with that last Medusa pick. The battle begins. I don't know, seems to be in the support role. Um, and he's going to try to go on to Remster here. Remster sees only the tree and protector, um, was not invisible for the root. And Mossy's going to walk over there as well, possibly pulling the creep wave over. Which maybe could be an okay goal for for twenty six thirty four there. I don't know. We'll have to see how this goes because Green Protector is going back towards the mid lane again, trying to get the Nature's guys up once again. If he's getting over to top, one for the Poison Touch first. So we'll be trying to make the the best of this support Viper. Very interesting pickup there. Very tanky. Uh, the tree and protector. He's going over towards mid. And he's going to be doing a lot of damage. Maybe tanking up enough. But he's not going to decide to dive Mossy that much. Getting taken down quite low with the tower. Tree and protector, protector really does want to find the levels in the early game. Because you do need to have uh, maybe some levels into weak seed. But definitely into the living armor. Which is one of the more broken aspects of the hero <laughs> this support viper is going to be really clowny same taking some damage from the arcane curse in mid it's just a very strange lineup all around from 2634 i almost feel like the, the teams aren't taking their off server matchups very seriously and just kind of like eh we'll do things maybe it's a pocket strap but i don't I, maybe they just feel like it's time for experimenting or something because this isn't the usual 2634 that at least I'm used to seeing. Rotation of DT Toast over to the top lane. He's going to sit inside the jungle and try to pick up the bounty room, which I don't see anybody rotating over to get right now, so that makes it pretty free for him. Double damage rune also spawning in the mid lane. Um, Sane. Currently doing very well against Mossy. He does have some free denies with the Eidolons. Basically get a, a free deny on a creep every time you use that. Kind of like a Lich, but maybe a little bit more effective. Uh, Effie's, yeah, he's going to go down here with a double damage rune on Mossy. It's an easy plus two intelligence for him. Meanwhile, Hot Salsa, he's going to get the kill onto Ark at bottom. So clearly the Earthshaker just not really doing too well in this game at all. DT Toast over in the top lane. Waffles are as he is here. Um, Medusa could walk over, but he's going to have to put up the mana shield right now. The stun comes in from Sven, taking away most of her mana. The Tree and Protector forced to get in here. They honestly just need to go and do some damage to Waffles are as. Here comes the Tree and Protector from the backside. Medusa will fall to the Ogre Magi. As DT Toast, he wants to go over and try to pick up the Wisp, but well, with all those trees also being killed off by the Tether, life gets a bit more difficult for DT Toast. Can't be as effective here. Still, the goal for 2634 is just get to the mid game with as few casualties as possible. And even then, that's just not really going uh, very well for them at all in this game.
Lacuna is probably going to need to focus on farming up a little bit better here. He's on just six last hits, so... I don't know. I don't really think that these lanes are working out so well for Cupertino. They do get the root on the Kong, but unfortunately the snake doesn't bounce over to him. So... It doesn't take as much damage as perhaps 2634 would like him to. And they really do need to get the farm going on Lacuna, because to have a useless Medusa in this game means that the team fights have to go even better for 2634 so they'll start to do some rotating around the map over at bottom arc is doing some good damage onto south and surviving in the lane okay oh getting low the stomp is there the fisher no he missed what was the vision like there maybe it was just on the edge of vision but I feel like that's something that you have to read from the centaur. Unfortunately, the Earthshaker can't secure himself a kill there, and the centaur stays alive at bottom. Now, doesn't want to take another Enchant Totem Fissure combo in the face, but he's still feeling pretty good about himself, and maybe even able to turn this if given the correct opportunity. Mossy farming up pretty all right in mid. So that behind the Enigma, who's still getting a lot of denies, which is just so annoying for a mid laner. I'll be getting in there. Viper comes in from the side, but he hasn't really been able to be too effective in this game. The only kill on 2634's side right now is just that first blood. That they were pretty lucky to get on the Sven. But I'm thinking that they may want to switch lanes on Lucuna sometime soon. Mm, first item for Earthshaker is going to be a Hand of Midas. He doesn't seem too hard pressed, pressed to be going for a Blink Dagger right now. Has that big horn on his back. I always thought it must be strange to be a centaur. Because you've got like arms, but... You have four legs, like your balance is going to be really far forward or something. I don't know. I always thought it had to be weird. I mean, you can ride it. Yeah, I don't know. But we'll see if we have any swaps going in at any time. I mean, they're leaving Lacuna here, which does not seem like a very good situation at all. Epi about to go in on the Mossy. As it's just him and Tree and Protector on mid. It seems like Enigma's vacated that lane and has gone into the jungle, which seems like a good place for the Medusa. Like, I can't stress enough how much I would really like to see the Medusa swap to a different lane. Especially the mid lane, since you can get some really good damage with the, the snake there. The Mystic Snake. I mean, you can get some good damage anywhere, but when you're put into a tri lane situation, uh, you have less sure damage going on to the heroes there. And with the extra creep in the mid lane, I feel like Medusa would be a, at least a little bit better off. Stun out onto her. She needs to get the mana shield up uh, before she loses too much mana. Oh, lots of damage out onto Waffles Are about to take him down. And can the Tree Protector get there? The charge is used. DT Toes can get over there. And is he going to turn invis? Answer is no. Waffles Are staying alive with just a sliver of health. And Rose, again, getting a nice double kill over at top. Just don't know why they insist on keeping the Medusa there. At bottom, Ark again going on to Hot Styles a little bit. Um, Echo Slam, not available because he hasn't leveled up that ability just yet. See, maybe putting in some damage on the Mossy, but... All Mossy wants to do right now is maybe take a couple of those items out. Looks like the creep is going to do it for him. And maybe not the best micro that you could have ever possibly seen on an Enigma. Also another note that the Earthshaker, when building up the Hand of Midas, he decides to go for the Gloves of Haste first instead of getting the recipe delivered to him. I guess the courier must be a pretty busy thing 
uh, this game, but it's generally more efficient uh, to get the Hand of Midas by buying the Gloves of Haste from the side shop. They still do sell them there. Doesn't actually tell me anything. I believe they still sell the Gloves of Haste at the side shop because you can still get your power shards from there. So, I mean, usually you want to get the recipe delivered to you on the courier and then buy your Gloves of Haste from the side shop because then you can get better usage out of it. You can use your gold faster. But he does get the Hand of Midas here. TP back to top for Kong. Ready to help defend the tower with the Guardian Wisp. <coughs> Meanwhile in mid, DT Toast is just waiting here. Possibly for the Courier. Which is coming out right now. With the Gloves of Haste for Mossy. Who is completing his Hand of Midas. I guess this is just Hand of Midas gaming. Um, apparently DT Toast has been scoured out a little bit. And Mossy goes back to pick up his Hand of Midas. And use it right away. So we finally see our first sets of talents coming out right now. A little bit more survivability for the Enigma, who I believe is still farming up inside the jungle. Has his black hole, not enough mana for it, and he's going to be going for the drums. Lots of survivability there. Regeneration. Medusa just has to be so careful in this lane. We'll be taking a look at the net worth right now and you can see that the early game has not been too nice to the Medusa at all. It's at the lowest amount of net worth among the cores in this game. What's the Earthshaker doing though? So he's got his hand of minus and he's going to be going with the power treads next. Enigma? He should have seen Remster plant the word there. Why else would he go up onto the high ground? Uh, 26 34. They want to get uh, aggressive at mid. Mossy getting low. There's the charge and the silence ultimate to get away. That's actually a lot drop down for a very minor support rotation. I mean, maybe it keeps him alive a little bit. But did they really need to drop all of that? I don't really think they did. Maybe it, I think a charge is just enough to get him out of there. Meanwhile, at bottom arc, starting to get. A little bit afraid of the Centaur War Runner, and he wants to get the Enchant Totem out, and he will. Just doing some easy harass damage out on the hot styles. And oh, Echo Slam Fisher got him, baby! Arc just turns around and slams everything into the Centaur, taking out that very tanky hero. You might want to start thinking about, well, might want to think about a Hood of Defiance in the near future. Especially with all of that kind of damage coming from 2634, it's a lot of magic damage. Kong farming up all right inside of the jungle. Mask of Madness will be his next item after those power treads. Meanwhile, at bottom, Earthshaker, he's at 1200 gold. So we might be seeing a Blink Dagger from him at a very good point. So, opposed to Lacuna who is just now getting up to his Dragonlance. And interestingly enough, a Mask of Madness is possibly going to be built up for him after that. I would love to see how that works out for him. Could go good, could go bad. Only time will tell. I mean, you, of course you have the, the Stone Gaze. The stop gears that are going on to you, but meanwhile at bottom, the relocate goes out on the arc. He tries to hide in the middle of the trees. Fissure goes out. It's a pretty nice blocking mechanism here, but he's going to have the vision here. Mossy is to throw a couple of blades of wisdom in there, get the plus two intelligence. The wisp gets sent back, and there was no help there at all for the Earthshaker, who gets set back a little bit on the way to his blink dagger. Phase boots now on the train protector. Really wants to do some more damage for his team. Oh, Groves are checking the trees, but it's just a straight back from the Medusa. She didn't even juke at all, just decided to go right along the lane, which ends up being enough after all. Same pushing into the tier one tower here. His Eidolons are all getting taken out. They might be a bit more survivable if they were attacking the creep wave and getting that down instead of just going for the tower, since you can multiply the Eidolons like that. 
see two of them here. Um, yeah, so a little bit of damage to a tier 1 tower. Obviously not in danger of going down, but at least it's something. Runa now also has his Dragonlance built up. Meanwhile, at bottom, Ark will continue with the pressure onto the tier 1 there. And I would imagine that that falls fairly soon. The tower falls at bottom. Lacuna still waiting on that Ochre Club to be delivered to him. Sometimes that courier service is kind of busy. I'm a little bit confused right now at Grove's movements. It doesn't really seem like they have a whole lot of purpose. Their farming is going not as good as you would expect, actually. Kong is falling slightly behind both the Earthshaker and the Enigma. And here comes the Malathus onto Ogre Magi. He's getting taken quite well. The relocate is there. Sounds of ultimate use. Enigma has the black hole, but the ultimate has to end. He's not going to get the chance to get it off. And neither does DT Toast have a uh, an overgrowth. With the Stomp and the Blink Dagger coming from Hot Salsa, they're going to turn it around again and get the two for one at mid. Very big kill for grows to be having against the enigma since he is the highest net worth on the board right now and you can see just how effective it, it was uh, 900 gold going the way of grows after that one dt toast going in the stomp is going to be hesitated on and missed by hot salsa but he will throw in the double edge here comes the snake from medusa be bringing back her a ton of mana after that and oh no We've got Viper on the back side of this one. Does he really want to be here? Kong could chase him away, but fortunately enough for Effie, Kong does not have enough mana for a Storm Hammer. Oh, nice double stun from Ark. He's going to go over to the side here, but the focus is not there from 2634. Not finding any kills. Everybody's here on the mid lane for them. They're just being a little bit too slow on this one. I believe they still get the tier 1 tower. Ooh, if not more. Ark. Whoa! Mm. That's not good. That moment when you blink just a little bit too far. Some very interesting misses this game from 2634. And that might be an effective lag, possibly. I didn't really think it was that bad between East and West, so. Oh, here they go for Remster. He's going to get hit by the Fissure. And Ark cleans him up with one more slam of the totem. Slam! And we used to have like a concept for a Dota show that we were going to call Echo Slam. And we had this German guy trying to do some like voiceovers. And he knew I would make fun of him for it. So it was like, yeah, you're a jerk pith, like in the middle of the recording. It was kind of funny. Like German guy being mad at me. We were pretty good friends though, until he got a girlfriend. And then I wasn't, then I wasn't his friend anymore. Feels bad. Uh, we could take a look at our graphs right now. So XP is slightly on the favor, 2634. Uh, net worth is about 3,000 as well. Looks like we could have a push in the top lane for 2634 as we have a... Nope, it's just going to be a defense at bottom. Kong going in with the God's Rank. They need to take him out very quickly. Is that... Yeah, Echo Slam is available. Here it comes. Echo Slam with the blink. There's going to be a stun in from the Earthshaker, but the Stone Gaze is doing a lot of work. But Kong's not even looking at them. Kong is going to be hit with the Overgrowth. The Black Hole on a three. Here's a combo that Cooper Team were looking for. But what else can they get here? Should be four down. I don't see Hot Salsa getting out of this one. Oh, nearly got the double edge off, but can't quite get it on the DT Toast. And the IO will probably fall. I don't see a creep wave in range. Maybe you get something with the balls. DT Toast getting low, but he is a tanky Korean protector. And with living armor on him, that's going to be four dead. Or just one at bottom. And the tower stays alive as well. Enigma was in that fight. He got out of there right quickly. The Radiance actually going to be the item of choice for him. Interesting. Ramster. And he's in a bit of an advanced position. Lacuna wants to try to go for the tower. We'll use the snake out onto the creeps there. Oh, Medusa needs help. Only being saved by her amount of mana here. But where's the rest of the team? Root goes out onto Remster. Kong looking for like, any kind of kill here. He just wants to throw a stun out onto anybody. He could just sell for Effie. Meanwhile, Mossy is going to kill off DT Toast. And 
I think Effie is going to be next to Paul as well. Stomp. Not even needed. It's a double edge. But he was ready for it. Two supports dead. But it's much better than having a Medusa die. Blinks have been super weird from Ark this game. So now with these ultimates being down, there's not a whole lot that Kong and the rest of the bros have to worry about. Other god strength should probably secure this tower, although the living armor is making things really difficult. There's a TP by the Viper, the Viper of all heroes. The tower getting low, no fortification available, and they're just going to get right back. They're afraid of this one. And the tower will be getting low. Here comes the charge, the stomp, the double edge. Earthshaker getting low. Where's the fissure? He needs to get some kind of stun, but he can't do it. That was really not a fight that 2634 wanted to be involved in at all. But meanwhile, while that's happening, Enigma picks up the tier 2 tower. Um, we'll get stunned out here. Uh, still in Viz, though. Kong slowed down a little bit. Alphazaraz does have the relocate available, but he has to make sure that he stays alive. Let's see if he ends up activating that one. Overgrowth going to be out onto all four. The Silencer Ultimate is there. The relocate, there's not enough mana for it anymore. As Alphazaraz is getting chased down by the Tree Protector, he'll use the Living Armor. Oh, nice little stun as Alphazaraz nearly puts himself into a bad situation. But that's going to be the Medusa and the Tree Protector dying. And still... The push is going on in top for Saiyan. His team is loving to ping him. I mean, look at those pings. That's a lot of love that they're giving him here. You know, I wish I could get that amount of love from my teammates. Meanwhile, um, Kong's actually going to be taken out by Ark at bottom. Echo Slam coming in handy there. He needs to be using his Mias. Meanwhile, top lane, Saiyan gets another tier 2 tower off the map. Obviously, Enigma doing his thing still around the map. Very close to his Radiance as well. Mozzie has the Shadow Blade to use that to, go, to get out of danger. And that's a bit of an unnecessary relocate. But I think Waffles should be fine. Was oh, he trying to TP out there? <laughs> he tried to do the TP out after relocate, but didn't quite have the timing. Still, though, Enigma has his Radiance and the Night... Oh, my gosh. Is he actually going Radiance, Manta, Enigma? Okay. The the Manta makes a lot of sense. This game, actually, against a Silencer. Make sure that you can get your ultimate off. And, and I guess since you're getting a Radiance anyway, having the Manta style isn't so bad, even though they did nerf that a bit. Just a bit strange. Let's see. We have a Smoke on each side. Rose... I think they're just lying in wait right now for 2634. Dyer use the scan. They'll see 2634 making their way over, but they don't know what from what direction. They think it's just going to be the short way, and the, oh, this hot style is the centaur. He's not going to be able to blink anywhere. DT Toast gets taken out immediately. Um, Enigma needs to get into this fight, though. He has the Radiance. Kong trying to get away the sounds for ultimate use, but that's just probably going to set up a re-engage, possibly from 2634. Arc ready with the blink dagger could go for somebody, but it's not going to be happening right now. A one for one, a support for a an off laner. And Enigma keeps that gold going. This guy is so greedy, getting the Midas and the Radiance. Sure he's going to keep his gold going, but his goal really should be to get Medusa into the late game, and it, he's going to be a pretty good damage output later. I might like to see something else. Time to go for Roshan. You've got Eidolon's a tank. You have an Enigma to uh, just do some damage with the Radiance as well. And DT Toast is there for moral support. Roshan being taken down pretty quickly with this Medallion of Courage on Tree and Protector. And Roshan will eventually go to 2634, unbeknownst at all to Groves. Ark picks up the Aegis. The first Roshan of the game only comes with Aegis included, but by now we're in about 8 minutes, 8 to 11 minutes. You too could receive the cheese. Yes. Kong 
His item of choice is going to be a Sanjin Yasha, which he now completes. A little bit more tankiness for him. We see a lot of spends go for this one. Um, maybe if they want to be more mid-game focused, which against the Medusa, I kind of would suggest. Um, lots of heroes over at top. And no one's going to get scouted out here with Mossy underneath the cover of a Shadow Blade. There's not going to be any kind of warning. Enigma will get helped out. Oh, but the Sounds of Ultimate comes through just as the Black Hole is popped there. And that's a bit unfortunate. Generally, the Silencer, I mean, generally the Enigma would want to um, wait until the Silencer Ultimate goes. Actually, that wasn't even a Silencer Ultimate. He just, I don't know, maybe canceled it. Didn't even think he would cancel it there. In any case, Lacuna, he's already used his stone gaze. Oh, the Echo Slam from Ark is going to turn things around once again. And the Aegis has popped as well. I think going back in, I don't actually know what canceled his black hole there. Maybe a replay is appropriate, but I don't think we're going to get a chance to. As four end up dying on Groves. And again, that's a very good fight for 2634, who have set themselves up to do that. Right now, Groves need a lot more farm before they can even hope to try to win against that team fight when it's executing. Because, like, sure you can dodge a couple things or not get caught in it. But you're still going up against a Black Hole at some point, an Echo Swim at some point, an Overgrowth at some point, and then you have to avoid the Stone Gates as well. Like, it's just a lot that you have to do if you're Groves. Blink in. Nice blink out from Ark to avoid that one. But Lacuna has to get away from Mossy. Rod of Atos comes through. Lacuna's still trying to get away from that one. This damage is there. Double Edge comes through. Or actually doesn't. It's actually interrupted by the Fissure. And uh, tier 3 tower takes a lot of damage. <laughs> and unfortunately for Groves, they do not have a tree and protector on their side. Bottom's getting pushed in as well by the Eidolons. So Enigma hastily makes his way away from that one. Oh, wow. I'm an idiot. He didn't have his Manta style yet. So he could It didn't even matter when he black hold there. As long as he didn't cancel it, which he might have. But in the future... Oh, no. Ark. He has the Shadow Blade available. He's going to use it here. Where's the vision? Oh, uh, yeah. Sentry was placed down and uh, gang banged by the Ancients. <laughs> Not a good sight for the Earthshaker. bit of gold going to Groves after that one, about 1,200. And that could open up the tier 1 tower for Groves. A lot of your ultimates are still down on cooldown. Buckle up in 10. But Zane just wants to go for the tier 2 tower here, which Groves might end up losing, but they have to be worried about the relocate. Maybe they just let Sane take it to tier 2. The blink forward, the stun onto Viper. No point in saving him. DT Toast was just going to watch his friend die. But it's okay because Sane took a tier 2 tower already. So there is at least somewhat of a trade here. While the fortification is keeping the tower alive alongside of the living armor. Oh. One spell sweep is going to take all those Eidolons down. Meanwhile, at bottom, Sansa ultimate is there. But the damage is not quite from uh, Groves. Mossy's going to take a couple of heroes as well. Kong gets back in the lane after the, re the relocate ends. The tier 2 tower will stay alive, which against the tree and protector makes things really difficult since he can kill that tower right back up. Mossy's been, been doing really well on the farming so far. Very close to a dragon lance on the way to a hurricane pike. We're going to be seeing a Shiva's guard from the Earthshaker. Interesting that. Kermitina made a very aggressive play, almost like they were going to try to go for a smoke. Seems to be not the case. Next, Roshan can respond in 3 2 2. Both teams will probably hotly contest that, unless the big team fight breaks out beforehand. We see some of the base taken out. Arc ready with the Enchant Totem Shadow Walk combo. Maybe just going right for the Ogre Magi who has shown himself on mid. They're going to go for it. Huge damage as soon as they get out of that one. Fissure cleans them up and that's your carry Shaker build. Let's go straight for the Shadow Blade. Get the big damage with Enchant Totem and get it twice actually. <laughs> going up here. Top lane is the one that's going to be lower. Okay, Snake comes out, and it's going to bounce over that entire creep wave. 
So any of the mana that Lacuna is losing as a result of that Arcane Curse, um, since he has the mana shield up, I realize that it doesn't take your mana away anymore, which was kind of annoying before, but now it just keeps going if you keep cast. well, the health keeps going if you keep casting spells, which will get annoying over time. Oh, War Shaker, you could get caught out again. Oh, got a blade used, but they have the, oh, where's, no, they don't actually have vision. Waffles are us trying to hit him with the balls. The balls are going to spread out. And Earthshaker gets away. What the heck? They didn't have detection for him. I feel like against the Tree and Protector, you absolutely have to have it, uh, your detection. And then against an Earthshaker that goes Shadow Blade, you do need detection as well. Let's take a look at our graphs. This will give me a little bit of consolation here. 634, still at a 7,000 net worth lead. Experience is somewhat the same. We also have a Heaven's Hobbard complete on the Viper. Interesting pick there. Should be pretty good against Fen, who is making his way towards a BKB, but hasn't picked it up yet. Roshan is not going to be due to respawn, at least for a minute. But Medusa nearly has her butterfly. So, a couple things that are giving 2634 evasion and should do wonders against a lot of the physical damage that Groves have. Scan gets used again, hit by the Dire. Kong very close. He's over there as well. Forcing Medusa out of the jungle uh, just to mis misguide on the path that she was taking. Look at these. Manta style Enigma illusions. This split push is going to be really dumb from 2634. The Enigmas, the Enigma illusions almost look like other Enigmas. Are the closest looking illusions in the game. So like you have the real Enigma, you have Eidolons, and you have Manta style Illusion Enigmas. Oh man, I almost thought my game froze for a second, but it's a it's a pause. As Medusa couldn't stay connected for long enough. So are there actually any items that I missed? Type of insight on Centaur. Looks to be pretty helpful. We have the old Arteezy sound played here. I think I'm on top of everything right now. Medusa should be getting a pretty good timing on the on the butterfly. Probably won't have buyback, but might be able to have it before Roshan comes up, which will be in two minutes. I would like to see... No, there's actually detection on the tree and protector, so he could possibly catch out Mossy in a fight. He's farming exceptionally well on Rose right now, very close to his Hurricane Pike, so still making his way around here. Moving around with the phase boots. 2634 want to keep playing around the Roshan pit, but they're going to have to wait a bit for this one. Arc ready to go forward with all the scouting done by the tree and protector. Ark is going to move through here. Maybe he just gets the courier. Yeah, he gets the courier and it's going to fall there. BT Toast is going to be visible. Kong inside the trees has a TP to get out, but here comes the Shiva's guard on the Ogre Magi and nobody's really here to help him at all. That's not the worst thing to tank the gang for, for Groves. And the wave is not in a really good position for 2634 either to keep pushing on the top lane, which has the most damage done to the tower right now. BKB being built up for Sven. We've got Earthshaker once again above Mossy in terms of the net worth and a butterfly now complete on Medusa. Roshan up in 30 seconds. 2634 still want to keep position around there, but Earthshaker um, will have to be careful because Ogre Magi respawns. Bit. And Ignite can be very difficult to try to play the Blink Dagger game against. But as they showed, 
Ogre Magi, not as difficult to kill for an Earthshaker as built as him. Going after him with the Shiva's guard. Oh, the Ogre putting himself in a bad position once again. Echo Slam, where is it? He's not going to have enough mana for it anymore. He has a clarity, a lot of clarity. There's a Sound of Souls mate going through here. Uh, Enigma wants to get the black hole off. He's only going to get onto the Ogre Magi, though. Not quite the best position there. He's going to pop the Manta style and eventually get killed off by the Fire Blast. Medusa running in with a Stone Gaze, but this is not really the best fight for Groves at all. Great initiation from... Or, this is not the best fight for 2634. I can definitely talk. Groves continuing to chase down Lacuna. The butterfly not really working out for them not as much as they would like it to. Eventually, Groves take out that one. And the uh, tree protector clearly wants to kill off Ogre Magi here. He's walking very quickly. This Scorch is going kind of slow without the God Strength. And Ark might be thinking about the Blink Echo Slam. He uses the Enchant Totem here. And the Wisp is trying to scout him out. Um, Gonna be the word placed down right outside the pit. DT Toast is gonna walk right in. What the heck? I mean, okay. Why? The vision here for Ark is not very good. He's gonna have to guess. And there's also good positioning. Well, he doesn't have to guess anymore as he sees the health of Roshan, but. Hot Salsa is right with the Blink Stomp as well. Is there anybody else here to try to fight this? It's going really slow. God strength available. Mask of Madness gets popped. Um, again. They're going to throw out the fissure. Arc oh, he's going to go in. But it's too early. He has a Shadow Blade. And there's a ward, a Sentry Ward right outside the pit. The Echo Sun gets used. The Midnight Pulse is there. And Roshan goes down to the Radiant side. Age is picked up by Sven. He's going to get a full bar of health after this one. Can Hot Salsa help out here? The oh, nice Enigma illusion. It should have actually canceled the or disabled the blink but instead uh, Centaur goes in ahead of time Whisk gets turned into a stone they're not taking him down though they're actually just going right for the Sven who is getting away for now has a blink dagger up in one second he should be able to blink away and he does wow I don't know if I can do sound clips in game with, but that would be the the time for that one a nice job getting him away with the movement speed I believe from Mask of Madness you still get that move speed Top tower is taking a lot of damage. If we want the someone else will go over and take care of it. So cheese on Sven. He did have the ages as well. Although Roshan kill did go to the radiant side. He's stealing it there with all the the damage that Earthshaker comes in with. But he couldn't secure himself the ages. Just a very awkward situation for 2634, which that thing's gonna get cut out here and. He's taking a lot of damage. And the Silence of Ultimate is going to stop the Tree and Protector from being able to do anything here. Bro's looking very good in this last series of events. And 2634 throwing away a lot of kills that they really shouldn't be. Buyback from Tree and Arc is so ready. But one thing that is not ready is his Echo Slam. We're going to slow down Kong a little bit. Still hitting really fast with the Mask of Madness and the Wisp buffing him up with the Overcharge. Over in top, they'll take care of the tier one tower there as well, even through the living armor. So Sven just very scary with his damage at the moment, and he has enough gold for a black king bar if he wants it. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Grows looking really good after those last couple of series of play. And now for the first time in this game, we see Mossy up at the top of the net worth. Next item for him is gonna be an orchid. So what does the sounds here want? More silences. Makes sense. And what is a, does a Medusa want? More butterflies. Makes a little bit less sense. Especially if somebody ends up picking up an MKB on the other team, which I would assume the Sven or the Silencer does at some point soon. Or at some point in this game if it ends up going long enough. 2634. Hanging out here. Waiting for a smoke. There it goes. But it looks like Groves are either looking for the same thing or having similar thoughts about what 
2634 might be doing hot salsa breaking the smoke on the scene and here comes the oh the echo slam on the three or four hitting onto a lot of heroes there black hole out in the two as well this time it's good from sane mossy doing some good damage on the outside of this one i believe that the enigma falls here to the orchid burn maybe possibly no it's not actually silenced by the orchid because mossy doesn't even have it yet so Clearly, Pythian knows nothing about this game, but a great fight, a full five-man team wipe actually for 2634. We're gonna force out a buyback on the silencer. And please, a fight recap. Thank you. Um, 5400 gold after that last fight. Amazing from 2634. And they just finally got the team fight that they need to have. An arc might be thinking about going right for Mossy. He's gonna use the silencer ultimate now. Mossy trying to get out, but the rest of the radiant team. They might feel comfortable at, about diving him. Saint is rather low. The snake is going to go after Mossy, who is still has seen the tier 3 tower is already down. Looking for the first racks of the game. Kong might decide to initiate soon. He has a blink dagger available, and they're grouping up pretty well here. Here it comes. Oh, but a nice stun immediately from the Earthshaker, and they could go for the Sven. Don't want to dive him, though. He is rather tanky. And right now, Groves are walking a very thin line between being eliminated and bringing this game back from the brink. 2634 will evacuate the base for now. Using the smoke, but it doesn't seem like they're going to fake back. Might just make their way over to the shrine. This Medusa is still going for a second butterfly? Why? I just don't think it's worth it here. It's more to life than just butterfly. So that fight actually went excessive, or that entire engagement has gone excessively bad oh my gosh here comes Sven he's got balls bigger than the sun and Wisp about to fall does oh no Sven you can't be doing this especially with the silencer he already used his buyback if he falls here that's gonna be a dieback and the buildings are currently under attack in the top lane Mossy has killed off the Viper already can he do anything else here? He can't get too far in. He's going to get the Aegis onto Earthshaker. Earthshaker's out of mana. He's not going to be able to stay alive against this one. But maybe the Silencer. The Silencer going into the pit. They're chasing him for now. Meanwhile, Centaur is taking care of the creeps over at top. Who were starting to hit the buildings. After that, luckily, Mossy doesn't end up going down, which would be devastating for Groves. We put him on the sidelines for about 120 seconds-ish. At least over 100. He is at level 23. Akuna will push this in though. Ready to go for some some racks. Tree Protector only saved by the fact that he has living armor and the nature's guys. But over in the base, they're still going for our no oh, Come on, dude. Wasting the black hole on the wisp. Oh, they also use the global silence on it, though. Okay, I guess that's not so much of a waste anymore. They'll lose the Enigma for it. Lacuna in a lot of trouble. He's going to very quickly try to get himself out. Flutter and the phase boots getting himself out of trouble. And the range racks falls. Not in the... Oh, my gosh. The Eidolons. Can they do it? One word. No. Not going to be there. Luckily, the range racks do not regenerate. But, man, nearly killing it off there. For just a little bit more gold. And the bottom tier 3 tower also dead. The split pushing from 2634 has been pretty immaculate this game. Really putting a lot of pressure on many fronts to Groves. And one more hit onto that range racks will do it. Inside the jungles, Kong could get put out. But it's just a couple of supports that are chasing him. If he moves over to bottom, we've got a TP into the shrine from Silencer, and he goes immediately into the Shadow Blade, looking to get the Atos on the Epi. We'll pull him out here. He's just going to go right for it. <laughs> Look at the damage. Silencer will get disarmed. Maybe the Viper can get away. Going to force staff over. His TP is down for another 13 seconds. And uh, Train Protector, you really do not want to get involved in this one as Groves, complete oh. Groves completely just collapsed on that one. Here we got out with the Nature's guys. 2634 really want to not throw kills away like that. But still, it creates space for the range drags to get taken in the mid lane. Oh no. Lacuna, you can't get picked off here. Scan completely on point from Groves and Lacuna. He's going to get stuck there with the Ato. Silence or ultimate? Well, the silence is there. The balls, can they hit? Arcane Curse still doing a lot of damage to the Medusa. And there's just nothing there at all for some reason. I don't 
I guess that 2634 weren't too interested in trying to do anything. Oh my gosh, that damage onto the Wisp. Basically nearly one-shotting him. Mossy will get the Atos. Oh, but the Fissure misses. So strange. 46 stolen intelligence on Mossy. We've got Sane over to the side. He's going to blink away. He's got a little bit of vision of him from... That was a nice triangle that I drew, just drew inadvertently onto this word right here. So they knew whereabouts the Enigma was, but couldn't quite find him after he first stabbed himself away. Or... Viper force stabbed him away. I don't know. Somebody did a force stab. Alright. Tier 2 tower falls the way of Groves. Medusa on the silence for a guaranteed 20 seconds. Earthshaker for a guaranteed 45 because I believe he just bought an item. Yep, he's working on the assault here. He's trying to take people down even faster. We'll be going for a tier 2 tower here through the backdoor protection, through the living armor. And Earthshaker will respawn in 25 seconds. Honestly, if you're 2634, you do not initiate here. You do not go in with you out your Earthshaker. Just lose a tier 2 tower. At this point, that's completely okay. You can lose a tier 2 tower if you want. But what you can't lose is your team. Roshan will be up in less than a minute. And I don't think that 2634 want to let Groves get out of here unscathed. Oh, man. Going into the pit. Waffles will get caught out. They'll be going around here. Waffles needs a uh, tether to get out. Meanwhile, on the backside, or actually, where's our centaur? He's just hitting some creeps. I thought he was going to get in involved in that or something. So we're going to have our Yield, Radiance, Manta style, Octarine build on an Enigma. Maybe he wishes he were playing Alchemist. But he is indeed going for that build. Making him a bit tankier. Mossy looking for some kills. He's been pretty active this game. And he could find the Viper. Yep, gets the Atos, gets the damage, gets the Orchid. And Mossy picks up another plus two intelligence, plus 48 on him. This is getting ridiculous. Look at all these Eidolons for Enigma. He's going to feed a lot of gold with this one. And it's not like Sven is going to have a difficult time at all trying to take those down. Gold leader is just at 5,000 now in favor of 2634. We want to keep these lanes pushed out, but those have done a really good job of keeping those out of the base. Eidolons will try to push this in. Mossy goes over the hill. DT Toast will get completely chunked down by Kong, but here comes the Echo Slam. Sane, ready for a black hole. He uses the Manta Stalli to get rid of the silence, but Kong is still doing a lot of work on the backside of this one. The Stone Gaze gets used, and Kong has to not look at the Medusa at all, even though he has been slowed down. One kill spar. The trying to wait. is about to fall as well. Mossy was not involved in that fight, was taken away by Waffles or us, and that's probably going to cost his team the entire team fight as the Wisp. Gets the Glimmer Cape on himself, but he's not going to manage to stay alive. Just smacked down by Ark, and nothing at all was taken by 26 or by uh, Groves there. 2634, nearly everything out of that fight. Not even using a buyback. Now, in terms of gold change, for some reason it says that they didn't. Maybe they did buyback on the Viper, and it just doesn't say there. Oh, here comes Sane. He really wants to go into the silencer, and these Eidolons should be looking pretty good for him. The Atos, but easily Mantis out off, and that's going to force out a buyback from the Io. Oh, can they kill off Mossy? Mossy's going to stay alive for now. Sane wants to chase this down some more, but he's got to be a bit careful. A BKB used by Mossy. He's going to start to go for Sane, and he's going to turn it around and actually manages to get that kill, but these racks are going the way of 2634. Arc. Gonna use the Shadow Blade. Mossy, Mossy's gonna go for. Mossy wants to go in for this one. Mossy, hello, hello, hello. They get the vision of him. They get the Enchant Totem, and they kill him off. He has buyback. He's gonna use it right away to try to defend this last remaining melee rack. So one thing. Oh. Not do anything about the stream, guys. I realize that it is lagging, and I can't do anything about it. Thank you, Internet.
Um, Kong doing some things. You can hear some radio Dota because most likely the audio is not going to be bad at all. And they managed to get another kill onto the Sven. Lacuna standing strong. Mossy back in the fight. Need, they need to take care of him. They really do because he could just turn everything around right now. He's going to force staff over towards the Viper. Um, four right dead right now on Groves, and that's going to be the full five-man team wipe. Yeah, it really doesn't like me. So that's going to be a GG. 26-34 will be moving on to the next round of the playoffs. And uh, it's a pretty convincing two-game set against Groves. Again, sorry about the stream issues. I can't really do as much about it. but Except kick my internet provider in the butt. So that's going to do it for the game tonight. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, Got 2634 moving on to the next round to face whoever ends up winning the matchup between Scarsdale and the Dinkies. So, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I will hopefully see you at another time.